Today I will be collecting as many Clone Trooper Legions as I can in a 90 minute auction over on, I'm not being paid to say it, and building my grand army of the Republic. These last few weeks I've been watching Filoni clones who you can check out through the link in the description and the customs they sell, wow are they awesome. If you like clones you're going to love this video and I'll be showing off all the figures I get at the end so stay tuned for an awesome surprise. This is Sam and he created Filoni clones with help from Natalie and his moderator Daniel to be able to provide custom printed clone troopers to build your armies without having to break the bank. All of these minifigures are printed on non-Lego pieces to be able to keep the prices low, but the printing is better than anything you'll ever see in a Lego set. All of the clones you see today will have started at only three pound. Be sure to join me today at 5 p.m. for a very special stream and then again in two Mondays time though all the information for any future streams can be found on Filoni Clones page. And if you are new be sure to sign up with my unique share code on my link tree and I'll also leave it in the description to get between 10 and 200 pound free credit after your first purchase. There's a lot of clones you could get for absolutely no extra cost just for making your first purchase. The first figure up for grabs was one that we'd all love to have a phase two Wolfpack Trooper. And this is probably the best way the stream could have started for me. So of course, I'm gonna be bidding on this one. So there we go. Uh, let's start the auction. I actually got beat out by Lord Turner who placed the very first bid, but I came in straight away with a rise and managed to snatch the first figure of this stream for only Pounds. There we go, starting this off at just three pounds. And the second figure, looking back on this, I probably should also have tried to get this, but the bidding is about to get a lot more interesting. I had to show some restraint towards the start. Now, you wouldn't be wrong in thinking this video is supposed to be getting as many clone legions as I can, but 20 minutes out of the 90 have already gone, and I only have the one clone to show for it. But then Sam bought out this LED lightsaber and it's a little different to the larger one I own as this one is for minifigures to hold and you can actually change the blade color dependent on the figure it's going to be displayed with. Once again, Lord Turner opened the bid in and it was a bit of back and forth between the two of us and this goes for the whole evening. Every time he bid, I raise, then he bid, then I again, but it was getting very high very quickly and I had to keep in mind, I was trying to collect clones and didn't want to spend too much on this blade. When signing up, however, I did manage to get myself 10 pound credit. So that gave me my limit. I made my final bid for 10 pound exactly and managed to come away victorious with the saber. But let's get back to the clones. Next up, we had this Thorn clone who many people would have preferred to see in the Coruscant gunship instead of Fox. Personally, I'd have loved to see them both. But as I don't yet have a Coruscant guard for this video, I had to place the opening bid, except again, I was beaten out by none other than the infamous Lord Turner. They must have had a much better internet connection than I did, but I did make sure to get my bid in and ended up winning this for only four pound, which again is another great deal for such a detailed clone trooper. I am definitely a phase two clone guy, as you've probably seen if you aren't new to the channel, but knowing I can get these phase one clones for cheap is really, really tempting me. We saw one earlier that I did miss out on, the Engineer, and this is one of the many snow troopers we see in Revenge of the Sith. In fact, it has a little darker faceplate to the ones we see, but I didn't manage to outbid Max, who not only got this one, but also won the third one. In all fairness, they are building an army of Nova Corps, so there was no chance I was gonna outbid them without blowing the whole budget on just this one clone. Right now, we are over a third of the way into my 90 minutes on this stream, and I only have two clone troopers to show. Well, this is all about to change. The next clone is an interesting one, as at first glance, it looks like a 327th Star Corps, such as Bly and the other clones with Ayla Secura, again from Revenge of the Sith, but this clone is the commander of the 13th Legion, which was the group of clones under the Jedi Master, Jaro Tapul, and Cal Kestis, who is the main character of the Jedi game franchise. I then followed this up with a Captain Fordo from the original Clone Wars animated series back in 2003, 
in his phase two armor and we'll be taking a look at those jake eyes later and all the details on all of these figures i also want to command a bly that is another great figure with the anniversary of revenge of the sith coming up fast for 2025 and i can't wait to be using him in a few future mocks but for the fourth win in a row I got a very special figure. I've seen a few of you in the comments waiting for a certain Phase 2 clone to be re-released next year. And when I saw this, 212 Airborne with 360 degree printing, I could not pass on this opportunity. This is the one clone I am missing from my official LEGO 2020 and beyond style of Phase 2 clone troopers. I was willing to blow the rest of the budget for this video on this figure and... In case you missed that, let's take a look at that number again. <laughs> yep, I outbid myself to get this figure. It was definitely worth it though. So now halfway through, we had a total of six different clone legions, but I knew that I could do even better than six. Not only did I not have any of the Nova Corps in my collection, but I hadn't picked one up in this stream either. So there was this heavy trooper going for bidding. I tried to sneak a cheeky four pound and not only did I lose this one, but I also ended up losing this Nova Corps minifigure, which matches up closer to the Revenge of the Sith style, an ATRT Walker style Galactic Marine, which we don't see, but we do see a similar style on Kashyyyk with the 41st Legion clones, and this really, really cool clone airborne version, which I'll be honest, the armor is really appealing to me more and more, but out of these seven Galactic Marines, I come away with none. After giving up on the Nova Corps, I wanted to try my luck with a Kashyyyk Trooper. This is a regular 41st clone in the really nice camo design at the end of Revenge of the Sith. And I've been in these streams for the last two weeks, so I know these Kashyyyk clones usually go for quite high prices, but I got it for only £3. Result. You might recognize the 187th Legion as this bright purple clone trooper. However, the clones that Windu led to and Naxxis actually looked like this. Having the fighter tank set, I needed to get the screen accurate armor. So of course, I came away with another clone legion, which was actually created by Hasbro and not just Samuel Jackson, despite having his iconic purple color. And if you did want Jedi to go with your armies, Filoni clones sell replicas of retired characters as well as these awesome clones. Taking a look back to earlier on in the stream, I saw a hard case and with only 20 minutes to go left for this challenge, I needed to get myself a 501st clone trooper, but it wasn't going to be easy. Let's see if everyone in chat is sleeping. They really weren't sleeping on hard case. Lego Sith Lord 66 came in with a last minute bid and thankfully this refreshes the timer up to 10 seconds to allow me to place a higher bid. I was not losing this Legion. This could have ended embarrassingly if I didn't get a 501st Legion in this video, but I finally did win hard case and he'll make a fine addition to my Rex, Fives and Dogma minifigures in my collection. I haven't quite got around to finishing the Delta Squad games, but let me know if you have in the comments. And I know when I do, I'll probably want to have the squad in minifigure form. I didn't win, but I was looking through popular Clone Legions online and noticed I didn't have any shinies. While they don't belong to a specific Legion, it's a very common Legion. So I can't make this video without any shiny clones. I'd already passed on a shiny scout earlier on in the stream, and I just missed out on Scorch introducing the shiny commando. It was late on in the stream and I managed to win this again for just three pound. But I think by this time with the lovely weather, everyone was out in the sun touching grass. Before long, my 90 minutes was up. So the parcel has arrived and I've actually already recorded my review on the Sunday. I only waited like an hour for this to arrive from when I got told it was meant to be arriving. So let's crack this open on camera and take a look at all the clones that I bought in the streams. And actually there is something that I got on the Sunday stream. So I will be revealing that sooner or later. And I did get an email from Sam who said that he packed a few bonus figures in here. So I'm gonna be really excited to see what else we've got to show off from his stream. I think that should be it with the tape. And as you can see, this is absolutely packed full of minifigures. We've got 
the light up saber as well which i will be checking out but there is a ton of clones in here in fact i'm not able to show you all of them i have to hold them up somehow perhaps we can get my box opener but now let's take a look at all of these in closer detail because the detail is really, really awesome. We have, I think, about 10, 11 hexagons that hopefully we will be able to fill with all of our different clone legions. And thanks to Sam and Natalie for providing these free extras, which I will be counting towards the legions for this video. So I'm really excited to see how many more legions we can get. Now, as you will soon be able to see, this minifigure does have 360 degree printing which is really really nice on a clone trooper even the back hip here is printed the back of the legs lego would never dare to i guess it'd probably be too expensive if lego did want to print 360 degrees and underneath the head we do not have the new clone trooper head but instead do have just a regular head it's more like the ones you'll see on a stormtrooper but if we were to grab one of our clones from the wall here and still one of their heads we can see what this clone trooper would look like with the lego branded head now you can mix these i've done it with a few like this and it does make it a little easier to get the helmet on and off the helmet is clipped in so there's no chance of it falling off and it doesn't take the head with it which is really, really nice. Perhaps I'll have to order a bunch of the newer Lego clone heads just to give to all of these clone troopers. I think the next one we will move on to is the 41st Kashyyyk Trooper because this is another minifigure with, as you can see, 360 degree printing. Again, the back of the hips and the back of the legs just make this minifigure look so much better from behind than one of Legos. Now you're a bit closer, you can probably see some of that camo detailing that I was talking about. And I think it makes for a really awesome minifigure. And that's the 212th and the 41st Legion out of the way. How many more Legions can we get? We already know all the Legions that are in front, so I'm going to close my eyes, grab a minifigure, and next we'll be looking at Commander. Thorn. Commander Thorn's minifigure is a game changer for custom clones, especially if you're not a fan of the helmet holes. I quite like the helmet holes, if I'm being honest. I like the little viewfinders that we can clip in. All the old accessories. I really want LEGO to bring back the flashlight. There's no holes on the side of Thorn's helmet. Instead, we just have this visor piece that sits over the helmet. Some really nice printing underneath the helmet. You can see that the band going around Thorn's helmet just at the top here is probably a little thicker than the official one we see. But this is in the Lego style of clones. They're not overly printed the sides of the leg, the sides of the torso. No printing on the back of the legs. So if you want something to fit in more with your Lego collection, there are also clones like this, which I'm not sure if I even pointed out in my video. Now, we will be taking a look at the lightsabers in just a second, but I think it's time to move on to the Wolf Pack. And Wolf is a really cool minifigure because he comes with his own... Let me angle the camera up a bit. It is a printed Karma, which is really, really nice. You can see that white patch on the side. I think that's a holster for his pistols because Rex does also have one, but it's something missed out on a load of the custom karmas. Again, 360 printing on this minifigure, it had to be for Wolf. We'd expect nothing less, and it's really cool that they've got the detail on the legs. They're not dual molded, but they are printed all over. And when you can print all over a minifigure, is there really a need to have it dual molded? So this would be a really nice minifigure to get, especially after that final season of Bad Batch. And the helmet, once again, does pop off fairly easy to reveal the head. Not quite what we'd expect if we did get a set, but I think it's decent enough. I'm not really going to be seeing Wolf's head in any of the mocks I display. I don't think I showed you Thorn's head as well. All the helmets do pop off without their heads, which is really, really cool. If you ever get one of these heads stuck in, because there's a chance also for your Lego minifigures, the heads to pop up, Give it a little wiggle as it comes off and it comes off such easier but all these regular clones seem to be getting their own not unique their own common headpiece so far i did get a wolf and wolf pack trooper i had to do it. i couldn't get a wolf pack 
and then not get a commander to lead them into battle. And actually, this Republic Commando here also fits well with them in a bad batch mock. Once again, if we take the helmet off the figure, you can see he's actually got the same head as Wolf. So perhaps there are a few different collections of heads in these sets but that can be replaced with a regular clone trooper head there is some really cool printing on the torso sides the sides of the leg the back of the leg nothing we haven't seen already so let's get straight on to the next one not quite there are helmet holes if you do want to put accessories on some of these clones on the box you can see we do have a feloni clones logo sticker it's the now iconic phase two shiny clone which people have been asking for for so long and it's crazy to think you can get the battle pack for like 16 18 quid now which is really really nice i've definitely got up my army building game for these phase two clones but in the order you do get a nice little thank you letter but with every clone trooper minifigure i have a few here that i haven't yet opened you can see that they actually come with the logo inside and same with the lightsaber different shape but these are actually business cards and stickers you heard it right these are stickers you should be able to there is a little fold in these that you should be able to separate and then once you've pulled off that strip it's just a thinner strip you can get to the rest of the sticker and these are really really cool because you can make your own Filoni customs merch which he doesn't sell merch yet I have asked him about tops about named bricks it's not in the budget yet but maybe one day we'll have it for now you can just stick your sticker on a top and you've got your own Filoni customs merch which now I'll be wearing for the rest of the video next up we have this commando this somewhat shiny commander can we call it a shiny commando he's got no paintings over he's not decorated his Catan style armor which actually is the same style as the batch and i really would love to see the bad batch in this style of armor i think that looks really really cool i definitely have to look at getting the bad batch in this style of armor and we do have a backpack to clip onto this republic commando that is absolutely massive sam did mention in the stream that there were commandos in the bad batch that were guarding a door in one of the many scenes and they both had their backpacks which are absolutely huge in clone wars if you weren't already aware next time you're watching through it take a look at the backpacks these guys are wearing what do you think they have in these backpacks let me know down in the comments what you would put in a backpack if you were a commando we also get this really nice blue visor which does cover the also tinted blue visor on the helmet and again some arm printing this chest piece here which i can pop off the helmet to show you in a bit more detail on the top is printed all over again a regular clone head which is quite nice to be getting a few different sets we've got four clone troopers with this head and two with the wolf pack head perhaps the wolf pack are the chosen ones and have their separate design now we are halfway through our order but as i said i've been going to these streams for the last few weeks and i actually won this droid in a free giveaway which if you are in the uk you can enter at no extra cost because it's a giveaway and these are droids that lego retired long ago i have already compared these to the new droids that have come out in the 2024 battle pack and i really like the absolute cannon on this droid's arm once again we'll go with a random clone and this one is fordo from the 2003 clone wars i will admit most of the clones that caught my attention were the clones with the 360 printing so once again take a look at all that printing the printing's actually really really good i'm sure some of you longtime fans and experts out there would be able to tell the difference between a custom trooper and a lego one i think the biggest giveaway though is that extra detailed printing on the back side but fordo here not only has a brand new headpiece which honestly i had no idea till i lifted the helmet but also has the jake eyes because this is one of the clone troopers from the original clone wars before the clone wars even came out back in 2003 that grievous is the stuff of nightmares but this is a clone that shows up i think in phase one and phase two armor in the show and it's really interesting about these jake eyes because originally they were trained i think fordo here was actually trained by a jango fett himself as one of the early clones 
Probably that means he would have fought on the first battle of Geonosis, just like Captain Rex, and earned these Jake eyes, which were a Mandalorian sign of respect almost, which is really, really cool that they implemented into a few of these clone trooper designs. But I'll put the helmet back on Fordo for now. He comes with this really cool pauldron, which does have the red detailing on the side. I'm not sure if that's shown up in the camera. I'm just getting a big glare on that side of the screen. But it does look really, really cool. And personally, I'm a bigger fan of these plastic pauldrons, which I have 3D printed a few in the past, than these giant material ones that cover Rex's whole arm here. I don't think that looks too good, and I'd love to maybe even 3D print a pauldron like that for my Captain Rex. I have a few clones actually that have the combination of the plastic pauldron and the cloth karma. We'll start off with another clone many people expect to see in a set next year, and that is Commander Bly, leader of the 327th Star Corps alongside Ayla Secura. We're getting Ayla Secura's droid QTKT, which is just a placeholder for R2KD. He's got that very nice karma, which is a cloth material piece. And that also means underneath, he's just got regular legs. None of this printed on karma underneath. It's a really cool minifigure. And he does have that plastic pauldron on too, which is really, really nice. I am going to pull off the pauldron of this minifigure. So sorry, Blight, off with your head, because this is a torso that loads of people have been really wanting. I think this is usually used on commandos, but just that strap on the side there. There's a few different ways you can implement that on your clones. A few people sell it a bit of material that folds down to the legs and stuff like that. But I really hope that LEGO do make a torso like that at some point in the future. This pauldron piece, now that I've pulled it off, I've just realised the head sits into that, which is really nice. Because even the material sort of gets caught between the head and some of the old pieces. So the fact that the neck of the head nestles into that is really, really nice. And then we've got Commander Bly's visor here, which does go on top. And again, is a really nice piece. It's got a little indent as well as that black mark at the front, which is just that extra bit of detail you love to see. This is one of two yellow clones in this order. The other one, or the 8th Legion we are looking at, is not from the 327 Star Corps, but is rather from the 13th Legion, which showed up very briefly in the Fallen Order game. I don't know if they've got their own comic. Star Wars is a very wide universe. But once again, much like the 327 Star Corps, we've got that material karma, and the plastic pauldron, which is really, really nice. A printed karma at that because we've got the yellow line around the outside. And this is the commander of the 13th Legion. Now that I've got the commander, I definitely want to see a custom Jaro to pull minifigure. I'll have to try and mock one together if no one's done it already, because that would be really, really cool. By the way, he does have his own head print too, which has some really thick eyebrows, which I thought were quite funny. Now the penultimate minifigure before we get looking at the LED sabers, well, at least the penultimate before the free extras, is Hardcase from the 501st. Now this time, Hardcase has a plastic pauldron and a plastic karma, and also has a, I think that's a jetpack print on the back of the torso, which has a load of detailing, as well as all the arms and legs. You can't even see most of the side printing because the arms are covering the side of the torso, the legs are being covered by that plastic karma, but it's just really nice detail. This time that gap in the blue at the top is necessary for accuracy. And once again, we've got another viewfinder, another custom one, but this time it's black. I really would like more customs to give their clones black accessories because Lego go with a more dark gray almost a metallic gray this one's a bit nicer than the typical one you see but you can see that it's definitely darker on at least the 501st minifigures i haven't paid too much attention to the rest of them but the detail on this minifigure is really cool you do get printing on the front of the plastic karma which i wonder if lego introduced the plastic karma again they'd introduce printing with it because that would be really really nice and this is an arc trooper hard case the torso is a really nice piece. In fact, you could swap this helmet out with most other customs and create a few different ARC Troopers for your 501st Legion, which is a lot cheaper buying the helmet from somewhere else than buying the full minifigure. But last, and definitely, well, 
not least and actually not even last we have the Anaxis clone trooper which i am giving as a member of the 187th legion which it could very well be it's a bit different to the purple clone the lego have given us and hasbro have but we know how star wars like to go around different source material when creating especially their animated shows now let's get looking at these two led sabers i've turned the lights off so we can see roughly the same time how well these lights light up the minifigures i'm not sure which saber is going to be first but hopefully when i plug maybe these will go on at the same time you'll see that the sabers look really really cool i've got them attached to this power bank over here made sure to fully charge it even though the sabers are tiny and they're not going to run this thing out and the wires i mean i can go all the way back to the wall over here so you could definitely fit these diagonally across a giant 48 by 48 base plate but i think this is going to be a game changer for mock building the wires are tiny you can see them just poking off the side of the screen you can run these between bricks you can probably even put these through bricks and you wouldn't even need technic holes or anything like that but the sabers look really really cool i have a few other minifigures to test these out with like Qui-Gon here who does look really cool with that glowing green saber mace windu who i think this saber has a really nice effect on the purple color remember the led is in the hilt of the saber so these frosted blades give off a well a really nice frosted effect and finally darth maul who you can fit a second blade in the hilt but only one of the hill is going to be lit up with the LED. So perhaps in the future, we can see something with two LEDs in here. But alternatively, you could get two of the hilts and put them back to back. I really like how Ahsoka turns out with both her blue blades. I am using one of the shorter blades, which was in, I think it was like the Series 3 CMF. It's a slightly older piece, but it's still quite cheap to get. And I'm going to have to get some yellow blades to try this out with as well. I'll flash up a few images of the Tantive boarding with Vader, of Luke in the Dark Trooper attack. Although that set probably also works for a Darth Maul set. And then we've got the Kenobi diorama that I built recently. And that also doubles really nicely for one of the final scenes of the Jedi Fallen Order game. As well as these LED lightsabers. Filoni Clones also sells some really cool custom Jedi that you can buy alongside the Sabres. Now, I didn't pick this up in the stream with the clones because, well, it's meant to be getting as many legions as we can. And I've spent the last few minutes talking about this lightsaber when I could have been getting on to these bonus legions. But I think there are some really cool detailed clones. I mean, look at the 360 printing on Kenobi here. The little gap between his Jedi robes above his belt, which I think is really really cool and just look at kenobi with that led saber but now it's time to take a look at the final surprise legions for this video and first off i do want to give a massive shout out to sam and natalie because i hadn't requested these free clones for the video the biggest success i am taking from this video is the fact that i finally ended up with a nova corpse or a marine corpse i keep saying it so many different ways that one of them's bound to be right eventually this is a really nice dark pinkish purple hue to it which i think is more accurate to how they show up in the show rather than just giving them a bright or dark red color and this looks really really nice they come with another material karma and a really really nice back piece there was another one of these clones ah wolf came with a back piece and i don't remember if i said it so there's a look at both of the back pieces and this is really really nice now if we were to take a look underneath this clone's helmet you can see there's just a plain green head and that is because of the holes for the eyes in the helmet here so i actually quite like this because once again when are you going to be taking off the helmet somewhere in them eye holes you can hopefully see a nice green head and these minifigures are very well done you can see that i'm clipping it down to a stud and popping it back up and the legs aren't coming off which is a problem i've seen many people have with customs all of these clones are tried and checked by sam and natalie before they are shipped out so you shouldn't get 
any faulty clones that the legs come off or like with the helmets getting stuck it's a problem many people get with their lego clones anyway and it depends how many times you're swapping the heads but the detail on this is really cool and if the figure isn't up to scratch the customer service is amazing this surprise bag was a really nice surprise to get but we've got this lime green clone and remember the armor that i don't know if it made it into the video i do really like this armor i was a bit questioning it when i got the republic fighter tank but i think it's definitely really grown on me the helmet is slightly different to the 212 as well so we've got a few more printed parts dotted around and just the design of it switches it up quite a bit but i really like this green clone nothing to do with my favorite color being green well maybe there is quite a bit to do with that but also these are the clone legions that supported Plo Koon on the I think it, I think it was Kato Nimoyja in Revenge of the Sith I'm definitely testing my Star Wars knowledge now but it wasn't the wolf pack it wasn't well it could have been the 104th battalion but it wasn't the wolf pack wolfie and all that that shot him down it was actually these lime green clones which unless you're really going out of your way to search for the information you're probably not gonna know once again we have a brand new clone head i think this is up there with the bushy eyebrows for me but of course you can switch it out for something that looks a bit closer to some of the clones you're trying to build for your mock and get them all looking the same but this is a really cool clone now last minute bid Sam and Natalie have also included these clone blasters to go along with the clone troopers. First off, we've got the pistols, the DL44s, I think they are. That might be Han's pistol. I get them confused and I don't know why they're nothing alike, but these look really, really cool on Wolf here. And they're really, really detailed weapons. They're not overly detailed as to something you'll see in an action figure. They fit within the Lego style but these are really really nice weapons i think this is an a280 blaster again i don't think many of you are fussed about the names of these blasters but these were used towards the end of the clone wars and i think this is also what continues on for stormtroopers so this is a really really nice gun to get it's very similar to the one that i have for the stormtrooper luke which if you've seen well if you've seen any of my old videos with that minifigure in you'll probably have seen this blast we also have this sort of a heavy blaster with a bigger barrel which definitely looks like it's going to be packing a punch and last but definitely not least we have one more blaster so that is a pack of five blasters which is really really nice so thank you so much for the extra clones and blasters and this is another longer rifle so you've got a whole squad of four clones here and you can weaponize them and make your own mock which we're about to do in just a second to take a look at all the clones we managed to get in the 90 minutes so as you can see i think today was a very very successful challenge and now it is time to put all of these clones on the hexagonal display and take one look at my brand new army of the republic so now that the clones are all on the display, I can honestly say it hasn't looked this good, though I don't think we'll be able to expand it downwards. So I definitely got to get a few more hexagons on the top. I'm thinking of curving it round the wall and having a bunch more clones on the back of my desk. So let me know what your favorite clone from today's video was. And don't forget, five o'clock the day this video goes out be sure to head over to whatnot and join me in feloni clones next stream as well as any other week honestly i'll probably be in them most weeks so whenever you're watching this video go over to whatnot through the link in the description and check out some of these cool clones because honestly they're a fine addition to everyone's collection and i think that's definitely been a successful challenge so that is all for today and may the bricks be with you always.